that. There it is. Okay, mic problems fixed. Hmm? I think okay. we're going to assume that everything is fixed. I'll leave that there for now. What's up, Internet City? Hi, hello. <laughs> hey, we have our mic problems fixed. <laughs> Uh, we just had to fix some stuff real quick, but that is a okay. Uh, we're having a good time. It's Friday night. I've had like six or seven shots of whiskey, so <sighs> it's a good night. Melissa, how are you? Hi, hello. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing fine. I ate a mild mannered pasta. What do you mean by mild mannered? Was it very Truly not a- and said thank you for eating me? Not an exciting pasta. It's been snowing all week. I, I was supposed to get a meal delivery kit. It was supposed Ooh. to arrive before the storm started, and then it got delayed, and then it got canceled. So I've just been eating, like, what's in the back of my pantry. It's like, yeah, I I've see. got one, a frozen chicken breast, uh, some, some noodles. That's dinner. I know what you mean, like the, the emergency ramen that's like in the back. Right. There, like there's right. nothing wrong with it. It has nutrients. It just has like no thrill to it. You have nothing to like mm-hmm. jazz it up with. It's like I've got box of pasta. I've got frozen chicken breast. I own zero vegetables. Uh, thankfully, I think there's like it's like a veggie pasta. There's like zucchini in it or something. <laughs> so I think I have okay. all my vitamins. I think I'll live. The vitamins, good stuff indeed. Sam is already in the chat. She's been here for a while, actually, before we were uh, fixing our, our, our stuff and says, Drunk Kyle Strim. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Truly some of our best times. Yeah, good fun. Good fun indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost in that same situation. Like, we, we didn't have the snow and stuff, but my girlfriend, friend is also in the midwest and is getting hit by all that snow it's been raining for, for, for us so raining. it's been cold or like warm and rainy if that's the warm? way like it's been it's been like high 50s is what what it's been yeah it was like 59 yesterday how'd that so, happen to you i don't know i guess i'm just in a different time zone so here we are <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i so i i i've had a good week i've had a productive week um so mm-hmm. i am in a good mood obviously since i've had like six or seven shots of with i've lost track how many shots of whiskey i've had uh-huh. uh i've been hanging out with my roommates downstairs after they all got off of work and it's been a blast uh rachel is also in the chat and says it just started to melt so the snow that i mentioned in the midwest is starting to melt for her there so good thank you for the update rachel Uh, Rachel. i hope the melt comes to me next i need a melt (laughs) um but yeah good productive week so uh, nice. If you did not know, this is the Whatnots Captain's Log. Hello, hi, welcome. This is episode 177. My name is Kyle Springer, and I am joined, as always, by Melissa Wilkinson over there in that corner. Yeah. Um, I would have t- t- well, talked well, Hold on, am I a corner or am I an, an entire half? Your a half entire includes half. two. A half includes at least two corners. Yes, so, I mean, I mean, I... We're like sides. You're that side. I'm right. this side. <laughs> like a twist. That means nothing to audio l- l- <laughs> listeners. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I want to talk about crossplay for a sec, uh-huh. our video game podcast. I made, like, this is why my week was productive. Why I, I've had such a good week and I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling great. Uh, I put a lot of like behind the scenes work into the podcasts. I, I put a lot of work into the podcast period. Um, mm-hmm. But cr- Crossplay has needed some work and some updates. Um, some of the like animations and stuff that we've had for each segment have kind of been makeshift. Um, and this week, I finally sat down and was like, I'm going to make those animations. They're going to be great. Everyone will love them. 
and we have now all reached that point, even though no one has seen them yet. Everyone will love them, I think. So good. Um, I, I could actually show them on this podcast if I want to, to here. Um, so I guess I, I guess, Melissa, you won't really be you'll you'll no. be able to hear them, I think. Wow, uh, there's but, sounds like in here. Yes, there's jingles that we play in. Oh, my be- God. In between stuff. Uh, so if you are a video game fan or a v- 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 video game player, uh, you guys should go check out Crossplay, our video game podcast. You can t- type in the whatnots on your podcasting app of choice and all of our shows will pop up right there. Uh, but when we get into what we've been playing, you guys will see this. That's funky. It's a little bit slow. Let me play that once more now that it's loaded up. Okay. It looks colorful. There I can't go. see it, but I can see like the light on your computer screen reflecting off your face. Yes. I actually, actually, let me see here. Can I, can I do... All right, if I start a virtual camera... And then I go to, all right, I think our cameras are going to freeze really quickly on Discord here. So give me a sec. I think you should be able to hear me still, though. But Uh if I go into settings and do voice and video, and my camera is set to OBS virtual camera. I see it, yeah. Yeah, there, there you go. So you should see the podcast as my video, right? Is, yeah. is what you see now, Melissa? Yes. All right, let me switch back to uh, this guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, it's recursive. There's right? four. Yeah. There's five of me. There's infinite <laughs> me's. Indeed. Uh, so the and it's back. Why? Well, I, I guess it's backwards for you, Melissa, but I have flipped it on the Uh podcast so people are watching it correctly so when i hit what we've been playing yeah (gasps) oh look that's all of them yeah you get to see all of that stuff that's pretty cool uh then when we get into the news of the week news yeah rad pretty cool glitchy good indeed uh, and then the new and notable one is the one, it's the classic one that we've ha- had on crossplay. Uh, just fits that one a little bit better. Nice. Wipes into this one. Uh, and then last but not least, we have our lightning round, which is. What there contains no actual lightning, Kyle? No actual lightning was harmed <laughs> in the making of this animation here. Um, okay, so now I'm going to give me a, just a sec. Our cameras should uh-huh. maybe mess up for just a little second so I can switch back to my camera being the cam link 4K. There you are. There I am. Here we are. Okay, and then I can end to the OBS virtual camera. There we go. Cool. So yeah, good stuff. I I made all of that. I also made animations for the end of our like YouTube short TikTok Ooh. videos that we post. I've been having like an end anim like not just like a social media card that says like, hey, new episodes every this day, depending on what show it is. And then they're like, you can Watch it on YouTube or Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Now I have an animation. So it will be like a just just that much more fancy. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling accomplished. This was stuff that I was thinking was going to take me like the next couple months to like wow. just knock it all out of just like I'm not going to have time i'm gonna be having to watch this show and do this and that <laughs> i don't know here i am though i've got all that all that stuff done so i'm celebrating today good to hear now t- tell me about shots do you like drinking something very fast yes and no 
I I don't like the feeling of not being in control. Let's put uh-huh. it that way. Um, so if I if I'm ever so drunk that I start to feel like I like I I like I'm scared of blacking out. Yeah. To yeah. be honest, like I I don't want to drink that much. Um, Who is I'm, it? I'm not a smoker. I, I, I don't smoke weed or all that stuff. I'm not opposed to it, but I've never really gotten into it, partly because I was raised religious. Second half of that is because my dad worked for the DEA. So, it was wow. Like double whammy. Uh, I never there knew with that. This. So, this is a new dad fact. <laughs> dad facts <laughs> here on the podcast. Yeah. So, uh, it was just like double whammy for me on that. So I just was like, it's really not for me anyways. Like, mm-hmm. I, like because I'm so scared of like not being in control of my own self or my own mm. consciousness. It was just like, I don't want anything that could potentially like put me in a state where I don't feel like I'm in control. Mm-hmm. Um, and so alcohol is a thing that I've like gotten used to a little bit. So I know weed would be fine if I get used to it. Um, but I've told stories on here of like the few times that I've had <laughs> weed and it turned out Just bad for one reason or another. Or I Falling don't asleep, it. waking up at 2 a.m., eating one slice of cheesecake, going back to sleep. Yeah, the, 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 the two times that I've had weed was in cookies that I didn't know were weed cook cookies and i slept them off and then Mm. on thanksgiving where i was like i took a bull hit and it didn't seem to do anything so then i was like well what about a bong hit and so i took a bong hit and they were like that's not a good one so have another one here and so i had like a say it was just it was like in enough to fuck me up and I had enough alcohol in me that the mix was not good. And mm. it was my first time being cross faded. So it was, it was just like I was. I, I was like thinking I was about to die. Like I, <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, but yeah, those are the only two times that I've <laughs> had that stuff. <laughs> my, my question was intended to be. The alcohol aside, I'm not asking, like, do you like to ingest a lot of alcohol very quickly? Regardless of the amount of alcohol you are provided, why drink the part that you have so fast? I've never understood the speed of a shot. People, I think I've been handed a shot two or three times in my entire life. And I just sip it like a, a wow. very tiny regular drink because I'm like, I don't understand why i i know why it's small i don't know why it's all so fast i think there is like i do like the feeling of being buzzed like being tipsy like that feels but you can do good. that if you just like sip it delicately over a couple minutes so that still thing, happens to you yes and no it depends on what alcohol you're drinking because and Take my word for a grain of salt here because I really know nothing about alcohol or liquor or whiskeys or stuff like that. But I do know that there is alcohol that is meant for sipping and ones that is more meant for shots. Um, They're like if the, the like for my birthday, my roommates got me a bottle of. Uh, some <laughs> of some whiskey and they were like would you prefer something to take shots of or something to sip on i was like i don't know i i don't just, I like alcohol is good <laughs> wet <Yes>. please <laughs> wet please um and they were like all right so if it's Older than three years and above 40 proof, it's meant for sipping. But if it's a newer whiskey and it's like 40 proof or below, then it's meant for shots is what it's supposed to be. So, yeah, I mean, shots, yeah, it will get you drunk faster than sipping on something, generally speaking. Um, 
Okay. But yeah, like I, I just feel like it's it's kind of a social thing for me. Like I, I know not to have so many shots that I can't function that night or that next day or mix it with other alcohols or stuff like that. Or if I'm also drinking beer at the same time, you know, you know, like I, I know my limits with, with, with stuff or generally speaking do, but I like, I like the feeling of being tipsy. So okay, if I can take a couple of shots of something to get there faster versus okay. drinking three or four beers in quick succession like it's a lot it's just it's that like medium grade stuff okay. does that make sense <laughs> like the, the it's making beer now that you the, explain like, the science it's making a little bit more sense to me i've just never understood why a shot needs to be cons- consumed immediately D- pour it down in one gulp don't take a drink and set it back down now now it's just like it's just part of the fun. Like, why shotgun a bear when you can just use the top and tip it, right? Like, there's different moods, different atmospheres, different styles of drinking things, different drinks, different alcohols, different proofs. Mm-hmm. There's an there's an alcohol for everything. There so. is. I think I've just been a wine lady for long enough that I forget other methods. There's no method to drinking go. wine. It's just regular. You, you don't do wine shots. Is the thing. Exactly. That would be you gross. don't do a wine <laughs> shot or a, a, a wine bong or a wine stand. You don't. You don't like jab a hole into the glass bottle and put your mouth right up to it. There's a hole already there for you. Like you just pour it. The wildest wine gets is sometimes you have a funny shaped decanter. That's it. You, you, you know how you, you can do what's the uh, what's the like big knife thing when you like yeah, open the top? Yeah, you've got on like a champagne, champagne saber. Yeah, right. Yeah, that is Except, pretty like, wild. You open the b- bottom and like hold it over <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> Shotgun and wine. Here we go. Right. I guess the only person who drinks wine in a really crazy way is a new boat. I guess I I don't know I'm not, I'm not you a know big when it's a, when it boats a baby and it's the boat's birthday and they're like we're yeah, gonna take the boat out for its first voyage. ride yeah you slam a champagne on it you don't do yeah. that to a person not really what was your first I mean, alcoholic me- drink oh um I went to an Applebee's with a friend uh, my friend Liz and I got a Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. There you go. I think that, mine was a Mike's was, Hard Lemonade. Well, that was the well, first drink I ever finished. There were other drinks that I'd had like sips of before, but my first completed sure. alcohol was, it was an Applebee's Bahama Mama in a Chicago mine, suburb. Yeah, mine, mine, my first completed one was a Mike's Hard Lemonade. I had like a sip of beer, a sip of wine from my parents. Mm-hmm. Just for them to get the laugh out of me being like, Ew, this is disgusting! Blah! Um, but yeah, Mike's Hard was my first alcoholic drink. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of Mike's Hard stuff. Uh, I like them fine, but I like very sweet drinks. They're fine, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, Melissa, how, how, how else has your week been? Uh, it's just been, it's just been snow. It's snow. A lot of snow. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Sam sa- says, I think my first, uh, al- alcohol, uh, was a Malibu rum plus pineapple ju- juice when I was in BC when I was 19. I'm assuming that's British Columbia. Oh yeah. And not the, the, before my... Christ. <laughs> Sam was back there. Sam and Malibu, both back there. Biblical. <laughs> hey, Jesus, you want one of these? <laughs> Rum and Malibu, let's go. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, good, good, good week, though. Good week, indeed. Let me look at my notes here, see what all we got here. Uh, so you, you have some stuff in your cinema corner. I do. Tell me about the stuff that's in your cinema corner. 
Well, over in the TV corner of the cinema corner of the sub corner, uh, I finally finished watching the Amazon Prime Tick. We watched season one here on the review show like two years ago. Uh, and I just yep. never got around to watching finishing season two. I just don't have Amazon Prime on very often. Uh, <laughs> like I only had I was only lo- I, I have to use my brother's account. I was only logged in on one device. It was a device I didn't watch as much. Lots of convoluted reasons. They finished the tick. The tick is entertaining. It's delightful. It's so sweet. They adopt a bunch of lobster babies because their super lobster mom has been imprisoned because right, yeah. they think she's a monster. When she's, she's really just a nice mom. She's very smart. She can talk. She's got six lobster babies. And that's like half the season is the tick and Arthur it just really adopt is. these lobsters. <laughs> These like gigantic lobsters that they don't know what to do with. They're just awkwardly babysitting them. They love them, though. <laughs> they do. Yeah. But it's, it's still it's like. They... Like that is the thing that stands out to me from that season, because it was so long ago that I watched it. Yeah, I, think I watched it like immediately after we recorded our show. I just went mm. on to watch season two or something like that. And yeah, that is like the one thing like they it's something to do with lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Arthur's mom comes to visit and the tick introduces her to the lobsters like kids. This is your new Mima Joan. Mima Joan. Thanks. Thanks, Mima Joan. I also finished, uh, and this just happened, the, um, the second half of season two of Pin 15 just came out in like November, yeah. December. You've been uh, watching sort this of an, for a while. Yeah, sort of an oddly structured season. We watched season one, again, also for the review show, like two or three years ago. And they put out like a first half of season two that was like eight episodes. And then they did an animated one-off special. And now there's the second half of the season and it wasn't officially labeled as the series finale, but I, I very much think it is, or at least the series finale for now. Maybe this is a story they'll return to in the future. I sure hope so. Pin 15 is amazing. It's one of the most impressive pieces of television I've seen recently. There you go. I, I know a lot of people really like that show. It just didn't stick with me beyond the like, Okay, I get the initial joke. Uh-huh. And then that was it. It was like, all right, I've seen en- enough of this. But I'm, I'm glad you stuck with it and it resonated with, with you. Because I've, I've heard nothing but good, good things. Like, I oh, don't think it's... I've heard anyone say, like, oh, this is a bad, <laughs> bad show, right? Like, I only watched the first season. But, like, all of the stuff that I've, I've heard has been like, yeah, this is fantastic television period it's such a rewarding experience it's so emotional there's it the show stays so funny and like so heartbreaking in these really sincere sad surprising ways there's an entire episode about maya's mom like we just follow Hmm. her for the day And like her, um, Maya's older brother was a half brother and like her, his dad is like in town on business. So we see her mom like reconnect with this past love for the day and like uh, realize how much she truly values the life that she has now. And it's you know, it's directed by Maya Erskine as this like love letter to her mom. And you remembered how like the opening credits were just like childhood photos of the two lead actors. This was right, yeah. all childhood photos of mom. It was- <laughs> Awesome. That's it was good. incredible. I they they took that medium and they did the absolute most with it. Stuff. Rachel in chat says it's best when you were once a teenage girl. Mm-hmm. So I, I that might was be it, Kyle. One of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember the age of gel p- 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 pens and stuff like that. That was my time. <laughs> mm-hmm. I also watched a new movie, well, not a, a, a movie this week that I never heard of. Uh, every month I go through HBO Max's list of expiring entertainment because sure. they put that out front and center, not front and center. You have to scroll down a couple different categories. 
but it's easier to find on HBO Max than it is on any other streaming platform. Stuff that's gone at the end of the month. So that's how I determine what am I going to watch in the next couple of weeks? Just whatever I will be unable to watch on HBO Max later. Okay. And I found this movie called The Double. It's from, I don't know, a handful of years ago. Uh, It's directed by Richard Ayoade. You may know from the IT crowd, other British comedy things. It's based on apparently some old, like, Dostoevsky story or something. And the movie is Jesse Eisenberg. And he plays this, uh, like, like, paper pusher, like, downtrodden office clerk who, you know, like, he has a crush on a girl in his office who, like, barely sees him. Nobody notices him. He loses his ID badge to get into work. And they're like, you need your ID badge, sir. You would sign in as a visitor. And he's like, I've worked here for seven years. You know me. I walk by you every day. And he feels absolutely invisible. And one day, a new coworker comes to the office who is his doppelganger. Like, exactly. Mm. Not like this. It is, is- it's still also... Hmm? I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume they're like more charismatic. Everyone loves yes. them. Like, okay, yes. okay yeah, yeah. He looks exactly the same. Like they did not put Jesse Eisenberg in a different haircut or clothes. He looks, he is styled precisely the same. But like, That's weird. it's like si- <laughs> he plays Simon James. And then like James Simon shows up and everybody loves James Simon. And he just destroys the first Jesse Eisenberg's life. And the entire movie is just two Jesse Eisenbergs fighting for dominance. And the movie <laughs> is. Remember how I was so pumped in the movie Vivarium, another Jesse yes. Eisenberg film where he gets him and Imogen Poots get lost in this like infinite looping, identical, like idyllic suburban town where everything feels mm-hmm. like. Super uncanny valley, like liminal space. Nothing in here is real is supposed to be. This movie's kind of like that. It is the most like nightmarish film I've ever seen in terms of how it feels very dreamlike. Like everything is like so shadowy. It's like very intense contrast, bright lights, dark shadows. You're in a room and like you can't see the edges of it. Like he's sitting there at a desk and like there's nothing. It's everything is lit so darkly. It's like him and the desk are the only things in the room. He looks out his window at a window in the neighboring apartment building and it's just like a window floating in darkness. Everybody's lit from either above or below. So they've got these like weird shadows on their face. There's all these intense uses of like bright primary colored light. I've. It's a truly unique film experience. I've never watched something that feels as much like a dream as the double. Okay. Interesting. That, that, that has piqued my interest, it's especially as like a Jesse Eisenberg double feature. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> right. I was amazed. Like, what are the weird like, I never... movies that he's done? <laughs> Right. I never thought I'd find another movie like Vivarium. And then I did again. <laughs> it's just Jesse Eisenberg and, and Mia Wasikowska, like lost in it. Him and some other beautiful young lady lost in another nightmare world. It's like, this is what he gets up to when nobody needs him to play Lex Luthor. Yeah. Which, let's be honest, no one really needs to play. Him I to need play it. Lex I need it. I don't. <laughs> You can find um, a different Lex Luthor. There's one for each of us. There, there is. There is. Indeed. I also had a really interesting film watching experience this week. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched a m- movie on Netflix that I think is fairly recent called The House. Uh-huh. This is a kind of stop motion animated film. Oh. Very similar to like Fantastic Mr. Fox. Like that okay. st- style thing, but it's with these more humanoid dolls where like you, you've seen p- pictures where like someone's head is like the same size, but their eyes, nose and mouth are all like super small and scrunched. Yes, in. it's kind of like that. Like that's what the characters look like. Um, but it is a hour and a half. It is a three part movie where each section is 
a different story. It's it's basically an anthology, right? Uh, it's oh it's a movie that's it's it's an anthology, and each animated feature is directed by someone new. Apparently, these are pretty well renowned, cr- critically acclaimed directors. They were all foreign names that I don't recognize. Um, but man, the 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 trailer for this alone is incredibly interesting. The stories that were in this were fascinating. Um, just bizarre, like bizarre stories. Like the the second one follows this character that is tr- trying to like uh, redo this house and fix it up and flip it and sell it, but he's having a problem with roaches, basically with these certain type of beetles. Uh, And so he's trying to, like, figure out, like, why these beetles keep showing up and why, Uh like, it's haunting him. And then he's doing this open house and the people that are really interested um, just look an awful lot like these beetles. And I should say in this second story that all the characters are anthropomorphic. Uh, and so the character is a mouse and he's having these problems with beetles. But these two characters are these m- mice that look an awful lot like these insects that he's trying to get rid of. And it's just it's it's the, 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 like, are you a child that is on someone else's <laughs> shoulders in a trench yeah. coat style thing? Like It's like that. And it is just like it's Edgar Alan Poe meets Kafka meets Ooh, yeah. Fantastic Mr. Fox. The whole thing is just weird and bizarre. I dig I liked that. It. Nice. I, like, I, I enjoyed it. I, I don't know if it was like it's not going to reach any of my favorites list. Right. But like the art kid in me is just like this is just so bizarre and weird that I like it. So. I recommend it. I thought the trailer was fantastic. If that trailer does not hook you, then I don't know what else. Well, so go watch The House on Netflix. So there you go. That's what we've been watching this week. It's been good stuff. Um, I say we take a quick break for housekeeping. Uh, and then when we come back, maybe we can do some brainstorming about what uh, sound effects we could potentially use for a soundboard here on the podcast or what memes we might include in the show. Who knows uh, all that and more when we come back. So we will be right back. We put a lot of hard work into the shows that we make. And yes, we make multiple different shows here at The Whatnots, and we'd love it if you check them all out. You can find out more information on our website at thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. If you want to support what we do here at The Whatnots, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to do that. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all kinds of exclusive content at the $3 tier. You can also get a shout out and a thank you on all of our shows at the $5 tier. You can support us on Twitch by subscribing to our channel at twitch.tv slash The Whatnots. And we would love to have you all join us for our live streams and talk with us in the chat. And lastly, we have merch. If you'd like to grab yourself a shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something else, go to the whatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. And we are back. A big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters, especially those at the $5 tier. So thank you to Sam, who has been in the chat with us. Uh, thank you a lot. We appreciate it. We love you. T- we love you tons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. It means a lot. Cool things that we have been up to here on. You're at, at the whatnots on the whatnots on our multiple shows on the whatnots. Uh, 
Ignacio and myself got to talk a bunch about Pokemon Legends Arceus on crossplay, uh, or Arceus. I'm not sure which one it is, um, but it is the brand new Pokemon game. It's kind of open world. It is the game that I've been imagining since I was eight years old. It's fantastic. I just ruled credits on the game today. Uh, so go go check out our podcast from last week in which we talked about it. Uh, and I'm sure we will be talking about it more this next week. Um, but it's 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 been good. Sam in the chat says Arc use or Arc use Arc 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 use. I don't know. It it's Pokemon. We're catching them all. It's good. It's fun. I enjoy it a lot. Go ch- check out Crossplay. Uh, co- coming up on the review show, we just did our end of the month special on Knights of Sidonia Part One, mm-hmm. which is the first eight volumes. We will be covering the second eight volumes at the end of this month here in February. Uh, but this week we are covering a Chinese film. Yeah. To honor the Olympics, which are in Beijing, right? Yes? Yes. Beijing. There you go. That's happening uh, so we, now. Yeah. So we watched In the Mood for Love, uh, which stars D- Tony. I don't remember his name, his last name. The T- father, Tony Leung? Long, yeah. Uh, the father from Shang-Chi, if you guys yes. saw the most recent Marvel film there he's 20 years younger handsome motherfucker uh go 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 check out that it was a really interesting movie is all i will say with that right now um but but yeah so go do all of that stuff we've had a lot of fun with that but that's about it for housekeeping right now let's get into the second half of the show yes melissa last week yes i asked you to start thinking, start brainstorming ideas that we could potentially use here on this podcast, maybe on the review show, maybe on Crossplay or the Reactor Core. Just what what could we have for a soundboard or like a meme board that we could implement on the show that would just make it that much more fun? Yes. Um, most of that is self-explanatory, right? Of just like, hey, do we want a dirt, a the, but um, right? When someone makes a joke, <laughs> um, classic morning zoo crew sound effects. We'll have three distinct Austin Powers quotes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, get in my belly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we need one more we're almost there no um so that is like the first half of this right what is just like the most basic sound word stuff that we can do do the second half that i didn't really tell you about here is that <sighs> behind the scenes i've switched us to a new program uh that kind of helps us to switch scenes bring our social media icons up, all of that stuff that in the long run is going to be a lot more flexible on what we can do uh, with the show, all sorts of stuff. I know Sam has been in the... Oh, Sam also says that one million (laughs) dollars, the Mr. Evil stuff. So good stuff. We're done. Mr. Evil stuff. Kyle, yeah, Mr. Evil. he didn't. What, what did I say, he's, Doctor? Doctor he spent Evil? like, tw- he spent like twelve Evil? years. You said Mister Kyle. He spent like twelve years in evil medical school. Show me Come a PhD. On. All right, that's all I'm you know, saying. Uh, Mister Evil, Scott's dad. Sh- show me a PhD. That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, but uh, where was I going with this? So Sam has mentioned channel points. So if you did not know, we stream this podcast live every Friday night on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash the whatnots um, at 9 p.m. Eastern is when we stream this. And 
as you watch the show on Twitch, if you have an account with Twitch and you're watching us, you have you start to accrue channel points. Uh, this kind of like fake currency uh, that you just build up for watching our show here. Uh, I know we also stream crossplay on Twitch on Saturday afternoons now, so you can also get channel points from watching that. But with this new program, we can set it up so that people can spend channel points to activate some of these sound effects or memes whenever they want. Oh my god. Uh, yes. So we could uh, have uh, like some guy that comes out and says, nice. When everyone, whenever someone spends 69 channel points, right? Now that would be a super low number in general. Uh, <laughs> I, though... Obviously, we don't have many people that watch us live, so Sam could spam that whenever she right. wanted. Basically, this is uh, this is for Sam only. We should we should have a, we should have an alert that's just an announcement for Sam. Sam shouts her Sam own name here. like a Pokemon. <laughs> Behold, Sam is here. <laughs> We could absolutely have something like that just for you, Sam. Um, but yes, like we could have something that maybe we price at a higher tier of just like, hey, they have to spend like a thousand channel points to activate this thing. So that way uh, it's not spammed. But also on the back end, I can set a thing to make sure that people don't spam it. I can say, uh -huh. hey, if this thing has been activated, it needs to wait at least five minutes before someone else could activate it um, or stuff like that. So we have options like that for things that we can think about down the road. We don't need to finalize things right now, but I mm. thought we could just b brainstorm sound effects or memes right. or stuff like that that could potentially pop up on the sh show. Some of them might be some of them might be sound by themselves some, some of them might have a video component that Ugh. the podcast listeners might not be able to know is happening uh but if you're watching on youtube or on twitch it right like it would be like ah, i see what they did there funny stuff um <laughs> Uh, it, please leave us an iTunes review that says that. I see what they did there. Funny stuff. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> so, Melissa, my question to mm. you is, do you have any ideas for yeah. stuff like that? I was thinking primarily about sound clips, because then sure. that best serves our, our podcast audience. Uh, I don't think somebody watching the YouTube video is going to be like, why is there a sound and no picture? But if you're if you're just a regular old podcast listener, you know, why spend the money on a picture? You'll never see an experience. I think Hold what on. a sec. Here. What did I did I say, Sam? Did I ask Sam that or did I ask you? Did I, did I say your name, Melissa? I think I drunkenly said Sam, what ideas do you have? <laughs> I think. We're one, we're one entity. This is what happens when you've been best friends since you were like 13. Right. <laughs> Sam, Sam, <laughs> you answer one, Sam you ask just one of us, of the, the other podcast. one will answer, right? <laughs> Unofficial host, Sam, <laughs> who's here in spirit, <laughs> always. <laughs> um, what I want, I, I think says, I, I don't said think that you did, but I don't know. We're Continue. one. We're one. Sorry. Something I've been wanting for a long time is I want us to have a sound effect that we play whenever it's time to go over Marvel news. Okay. Just the Yeah. Do do, do we have do is there a certain clip of like Stan Lee that we can get? Oh! Right? Of like Excelsior when he when he that's, says That's a good idea. I've been trying to think of something like something like that. Qu quotes from the movies that would be appropriate. I thought of boom, you're looking for this, but new rock stars like has kind of cornered the market on implementing boom, you're that looking quote. For this? 
<laughs> so I'm that trying to think of other ones. Uh, something that says Marvel, but like is not <laughs> things that aren't clear announcements. I thought of Rocket Raccoon just saying, bunch of assholes standing in a circle. And like, that's what we play when it's time for news. All right. I, I like the part a- of a plan. <laughs> I really like the idea that it's just an abstract, a recognizable, but like a very abstract quote. I also thought sure. about uh, d- just Miss Minutes, just Miss Minutes saying like, howdy, y'all. Okay. I think she's a good okay. introductory. Yeah. She can introduce us to the segment. I don't, we'll have to think on it. There's much of the MCU that we can draw from. The more I think about it, I'll right. probably come up with something like, that's it. That's the quote that introduces us to mcu news time right i'm trying to think is like does does peter parker say anything when he's doing the like fit the like homemade video or (laughs) something there like that would be kind of funny something to Mm. introduce i'm writing this down in in my notes here something to introduce marvel segment yeah. Okay. And we can have one for DC too, you know. Sure. This is it, whatever like a, we want. I mean, so, something like a Stan Lee saying Excelsior would 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 be a more comic book. <laughs> I have a package here for Tony thing. Stank. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I, that's it. That's, that's one idea. of my nominees officially. Not even a joke. I have a package here for Tony Stank. That's a good one, indeed. So I uh, today I installed Voice Mod on uh, my computer Stream Deck stuff. Uh, I only have the free version right now. This is something that if we wanted to, we could invest in. I think it's only fifty bucks for like a lifetime uh, thing, which I might just do anyways because it's fifty. Who bucks, knows how right? long you'll Why live? Not? Yeah. Um, but it is a thing where it has like a classic sound board. So if I say something really funny, I, I, I can do a rim shot. Did, did you hear the rim shot? I heard nothing, end? Kyle. No, Fuck. I did not. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Microphone. <laughs> it should be the thing. Sam, did you hear a rim shot? Please tell me you heard a rim shot. <laughs> Sam, we're counting on you. Unofficial third host of the captain's log here. Uh, Sam says she did. All right, so I, I need to figure okay. out how, how to send this to Melissa here. Sam, Sam says she didn't like it, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, in that ca- ca- case, Sam... <laughs> It's a sad trumpet for you. Oh. There you go. Oh, so we'll just get the entire package of Price is Right noises. Right. Like, it, it has just your classic sound word stuff. I also have this one. Lightning bolt. Creaky which door. Which is just like a Bart. horn. Dude, they, yeah, they absolutely have, like, breathing, footsteps, a fart, oh. a burp. Right. Just like all, all sorts of like stupid sounds. But if yeah, if you pay the fifty dollars for like the pro access, uh, you get like <laughs> retro video game sounds. You get anime sounds. You get the, you get all sorts Cicadas. of stuff. You also get voice changers, which sounds something like this. I think it should be having a, like multiple chords like I'm singing a song and auto tuned. Whoa! Stuff like that, I think. Um, so Kyle's like a choir of angels. Something like that. Uh, yeah, Sam is in the chit chat. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, there is stuff like that, or uh, for when I'm feeling very passionate and want to go on <laughs> a rant, and I just want to start cursing up a storm and say that I hate all. I could beep out myself there the whole time. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so I I need to figure that out. I guess then how to route that to you to make sure you he- hear all yeah. of that sound. Yeah. 
has. You could just be <laughs> beeping over me and I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> so I have stuff like that. It gives us access to different like voice changers and stuff like that. It's it's not a new thing. It's been around for a while, but it was just something that we've I've never really looked into into. Um Sam, Sam says, I can't believe Kyle said that. Horrible. Blocked. Blocked. You're all blocked. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, we, we, I mean, we have the okay. classic stuff like that. I was thinking of like more visual stuff that we could do too. Like, you know, those meme sun g g g g g g glasses. Yeah. That like the, then the I'd like, have to, I'd have, you'd have to tell me when to sit still. So that the sunglasses land on my face. Right. I mean, you, you kind of do already. Like you're, you're <laughs> not so someone to like move around. Uh, yeah. I'm not mic. a big wiggle worm. Right. Yeah. So it, it would work for the most part. Every once in a while, it might not line up exactly, but we could do something like that where, you know, we mention a dick joke when we're t talking about <laughs> the dick tentacle on Knights of Sedonia, right? And yeah. That it has some sound in the background <laughs> that plays and goes, bow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> Whenever Melissa <laughs> says dick and that, tentacle. And Knights of Sidonia is wow, like wow. Uh, a two episode series that we've already done the first part of. But who knows how long that dick tentacle will remain with us in spirit. Exactly. She, she, she mean, could come up with so many future episodes. Dick tentacle. Let's be honest. Right. <laughs> Stretches across an entire space space. Exactly. I want. Uh, I, I, like I said, I was thinking about like music cues for like regular segments or running jokes that we do. I want a, sure. a sound effect to cue. It's Marvel time. Uh, I thought about maybe we have a sound effect for d obligatory references to Lost. Every time we bring up Lost, it makes that don't like sound cue right before it goes to commercial. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> like plays an entire Michael Giacchino score. Right. Like to 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 be honest, like I could do stuff that is um like I, I, I could do stuff so that it like changes the background. So it's still like uh, uh, us on in our cameras, but in the background it's something else instead of the like scrolling text. <laughs> oh, I could I do, do like that. We're just right, on I, the I, island. I could do, <laughs> Right, yeah. Uh, I could do stuff that uh, like covers the whole scene. Like, so uh, where where I thought of this was like, I was watching Harvey Birdman as I mentioned like a week or two ago, and there's that gavel that like in between yes. scenes, like whoonk, right? Like, yeah, I think that would be neat when we decide. <laughs> something right like all right yes we are going to cover this on the reactor core it's now law i hit the button and it's just like kachunk right it it, it is the i like that yeah gavel from that or maybe we say something really stupid and we play the like super fast credits from uh what it was it? it's always sunny in philadelphia or that the do you know what i mean when like the like the fail credits when it just goes to like they just do something so dumb that they're just like Ugh, and it you'll just, just send it to me i'm not sure credits. if i do I, i'm uh, people should know what i'm talking about out oh, there on the oh, internet music curb I, your I enthusiasm hope. it plays it like circus music yeah, it might be that where the credits roll really fast. Like we could do something like that where I just say like, well, if you didn't know, Melissa, red and blue make purple. And then we, we just start busting out laughing. It's like just go straight to credits because that's the end of the podcast. We can't top it. That's it. Mm -hmm. we're, we're done. Right. right? Uh. Um, I want every time we go to the Mountain Dew Wiki for you to play Hello Darkness, my old friend. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to have in your arsenal anyway. Mountain Dew Wiki with the uh, Hello Darkness. <laughs> My old friend. Oh, another one I like <laughs> is Michael Jordan saying, Stop it. Get some help. That's a good one. Okay. Um, I'll just go through a Vine compilation. I'll send you clips. Right, right, like that's that's what that's what we we, we we need. Like stuff that like as we're talking can mm. either interrupt us to be like, all right, fuck you, Kyle, for hitting that button when I said that thing, right, and uh, all of that, or can like play softly in the back go around where it won't interrupt our conversation but to whoever's watching the show or listening will know that that's playing and it's just like all right that's that's good <laughs> that's funny <laughs> like we need stuff like that i feel like mm -hmm. um stop it get help <laughs> I, I would love for all of our segments to have a sound. Over on the review show, have a sound for, like, what's our bingo noise? We should have a sound effect every time one of us gets a bingo. Oh, okay. Bingo sound. That's a good one. Bingo sound. I like that. I didn't even think about I want that. It to be, I want it to be, like, the slot machine sound. When you've won okay. a slot machine. Let's see. Shot, a slot machine is like a bingo that has an arm. Okay. Um, I was also thinking, uh, like we it would be neat for us to have like a uh Hollywood candle thing, right? When we do yes, that. yes. I I don't know what that would be, like oh, some, well something with a <laughs> lighter striking or like a match striking but also some mm. kind of theme song some i would love i would love it if you made it a graphic for yankee goes to hollywood i and then yeah. uh, audio lee if you could just play the the song relax like just the part of relax don't do it where they just shout relax <laughs> okay relax <laughs> relax <laughs> <laughs> um God, yeah, they, they like there's there's all sorts of and I, I I know new things will come up down yeah. the road when we think of it. But we also have the opportunity. I own a green screen. All right? Oh my god. So if we say something stupid that you want to boo me or I want to boo you, I can film <laughs> myself like walking on screen like back <laughs> to turned <laughs> Like this, like for the I'm I'm st I'm standing okay. up and like walking yes. away from the mic, being like, "Boo!" Like I could Boo. do something Why would we? <laughs> like that when like I say something dumb or Melissa says something dumb, where like I walk on set and like, you could just see like down below on us set. Like it, like me walking in, but it's green screened out. Right, you crop and I yourself look out up at you like, or at me. Yeah, and I'm just like, boo! You, you suck. can mirror it. You could boo yourself. Uh, I think yeah. we should. Have, we could have that clip from Gravity Falls. I'm Stan, and I was wrong. I'm saying the Stan wrong song. <laughs> we could do st stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th there's like. I'm I, I'm tr I'm tr trying to think of like good, just funny sounds that we could play like every so often. What are the top funniest sounds? Fart, cat, uh, cat meowing, glass breaking, Austin Powers. I so one that I really <laughs> like, and I have to admit, I got this idea from somewhere else. Uh. I think it'd be really funny to have in anime like moan sounds just like a uh, just like in the background for 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 when we like make some really inappropriate joke. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny to have that in there. <laughs> just have it play in the back 
go around really softly. <laughs> it's terrible, but I I thought it would be really funny. I'm sure you could also find a clip of Austin Powers doing something similar. Oh, sure. sure. Do you have yeah. to put at least I one, at least one Austin Powers in here for me, for, for everyone. Sure. sure. I think he's included. Yeah. On every soundboard you install, like how every Microsoft Word is Times New Roman. It's default. I wonder if I can find... I, ooh, I just thought of this. I wonder if I can find, like, a green screened out or, or like, some, like, a transparent version of Clippy from, like, Microsoft Word. Clippy, how funny would that get be? him in here! I see your like. Tr- like stick, please bring stickly. up Clippy. Please bring up Clippy every time we like run into technical difficulties, and he's like, "It looks like you're trying to host a podcast." <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I've. I, I mean, there's sounds like Link opening up a treasure chest from the yeah, Legend of Zelda. Right. See, so you know video game things, and I don't. Yeah, but still, like, that is, it's not the most well-known, but it is still fairly well-known, like, pop culture sound effects, like, when you open up a chest and get a new, like, here's a giant rupee. You got a hundred bucks. Um, <laughs> I want the TiVo noise. I'm not familiar with that. When you, if you had TiVo, and I'm not talking about, like, any generic DVR, like, TiVo, brand right. name. When you would rewind, it would make like a boop boop sort of noise. Okay. I okay. love that to play anytime. It's like, I'm sorry, Kyle, what did you say? Can we go back to this? What did your dad used to do? I, I, I think uh, I, I, I think the voice mod has the like Windows f- fail uh, sound. Ah. Like, da dunk. <laughs> Uh, we could use something. That's a good like one. That. Yeah, I think you've seen the meme of the woman like trying to do math. And you the, brought like, that equations. one up as an example last ye- last week. I think that is a good one. That's a good I, I like visual visual one. That'd yeah. be a good thing that I could set up like a button for you and a button for me, so it does it on top of like only our vi- like if I'm struggling to understand something you're saying, like it only affects me on the thing or if you're str- mm-hmm. like i don't understand D- what what the fuck is a gundam what i don't right. know just, like, <laughs> right? just like carry the one i don't what right uh, yeah you, uh, you, put, the, you rat? put what you put the math over my face every time you say the word gundam exactly exactly um so we could have stuff like that so i think there's a lot of good ideas so far i have Mm -hmm. a a couple of these written down in my notes um we're open to feedback here's the thing yeah despite us brainstorming this stuff it doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna use it or use it often is the thing like mm. that's the thing. like I don't want this podcast to just become fart noises and sound effects and <laughs> yeah baby from Austin <laughs> Pat Powers. Could you imagine four years that I've been doing this for almost four years now, and I'm like, you know what? It we need to spice up this podcasting experience. Fart oh. noises. <laughs> Austin do I make Powers. you horny, baby? <laughs> <laughs> but but like i i want to just have it in our back pocket for like yeah good tasteful moments tasteful right? yeah exactly who doesn't work on a good tasteful fart sound a, a, uh-huh. a good t- t- tasteful get in my belly <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll be thinking of some stuff. Maybe you'll start to see some things every now and then. Maybe I'll have mm-hmm. like a generic soundboard in here too for the classics. The here is an 
Here's an audience clapping or cheering. Here's the rim shot. Here's the fail sound. I also thought it'd be neat to like get the like sign held like boom. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Like when we go to a new subject or something, right? Like we just hit that and it like new scene. Here we go. Stuff like that. That'd be really fun funny um oh, or, like, yeah, or if there's just like a good sound clip man, a good only... meme a good video that just like two like two or three seconds like a yeah. one line thing that is just uh, like real fast won't really distract from the conversation and but... only me and like three other people are gonna understand if you make a sound clip out of the Werenberg whisper I, I don't know what that is it's it was a local st louis movie theater chain (laughs) and like in the little like pre-roll you'd see after the trailers before the actual movie starts like and now our feature presentation where it's like here's the theater company's logo and it's a w wearing a crown for the Werenberg family it's like well they have a whole jingle which i could sing for you but i won't I, 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 sorry continue with yeah, 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 yours and then i'll mention well it's here. the perfect destination for every generation we're in berg we're in berg theaters and then a voice goes we're in berg we're in berg okay <laughs> it's just one of the most important sounds in my life personally <laughs> very formative sound in melissa's life i understand yeah uh what about the old like if our somehow like i make some like radio dj drop hit that thing for when we do our yankee goes to hollywood candle thing that includes the like let's all go to the movies <laughs> let's all go to the well, lobby they, no, you're already in the you're already in the movies and then you go to the lobby right right I don't so, think like, there's a song somehow, that goes the other way when you're in the lobby that tells you to go into theater. I know, but 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 like we could use something along those lines to include yeah. in that intro song or something like that when we're when we talk about our cinema corner or Yankee goes to Hollywood that thing like we we have options. We have options here much to think about mm-hmm. sam says go to your fucking move or go to your <laughs> movie <laughs> right <laughs> so yeah we we have all sorts of stuff i like i i i'm interested in ways we could just make this um not not more memeified but like a little <laughs> more more just more oomph right yeah i get it i get it to the ounce i watch a lot of new rock stars and uh on their show big question which is where they take a, a question like um i don't know how how could you kill the hulk or something and like they'll dig into it and it's like they do research it's informative on whatever this preposterous question is but it's also very silly Like, that is the video out of all the different video series on their channel where they go deep on the editing like this. And it's delightful. Like, you can listen to some of these as audio podcasts, but I'm like, no, I have to watch Big Question for the edits like this. Which I I don't have the time to go that deep. Oh, no, I understand. Reload some things that I can just hit the button on my stream deck and it's just like. Bam, here's this meme. Here's that one. There they, there you go. Like that that that'll be fantastic. My all right, so I I do have to say and I will will wrap things up here in a sec. Uh, my goal is to actually have the opening theme song for the podcast that you guys see when you watch the YouTube v- v- version or that you he- hear when you listen to the podcast version i want to have that built into the stream so that when i go 
from our stream starting soon page into the podcast. It starts that intro. And then Melissa, yo, yo, and I, or me and Gino and Ignacio on crossplay, all like all of us, we, 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 we have to wait for that thing the however long it is. And then once that is done, then we can go in because that will save me a lot of time on editing. Not yeah. that it's a lot of time, but it's like it'll save me a couple seconds, right? To mm. do that and just to, to have that where I can have it all just be in one big thing and I can just be like chop here, chop there, done. And and like that that'll be fantastic. That'll be fantastic. Yes. So. Sam found the audio version of the 1994 Warenberg theme. Warenberg <laughs> theme, 1994, best quality. Best quality indeed. But was that other local commercial from that like the like lawyers <laughs> or whoever it was, it was some like family business and it was just a really oh, bra- weird commercial oh there's brown and crouppen um uh yeah, where they have well know. that wasn't like it was like a bus ad that said watch three lawyers eat sandwiches and you could it's go to those. like I, I remember them because they had a fucking c- 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 Are, cool website saying- and they had their own like youtube like they did this was like like what the hell is this fresh horror like that these guys made a local commercial based on it? Is oh, just are you bizarre. talking about Vern Funk insurance? Yes. Yes. We yeah. keep that in our back pocket for the holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Ramadan. Like, Merry maybe, Christmas. Maybe we can make something insurance. out of that. <laughs> I'll send you. Man, I didn't know what you were talking about it. when you were saying local commercial, if you meant like somebody's or from me, from you, who's local. But I can dig into these. I've got a deep, I've got a deep knowledge of old, weird old local commercials from assorted communities that aren't just my own. Just like Weird old obscure shit that we can oh my like, God. find a good clip out of that no one will know but will think is fucking hilarious is going to be great. Oh, you know who I want? I, I, I want in our soundboard, honey, you've got a big storm coming. Okay, I don't know what that's. Around. Kyle, you could stop at uh-huh. five or six stores or just one. <laughs> no, I don't I don't I don't know. Okay, we're going to send this to you. We're going to send this to you. You've seen her. You've seen this. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. There you go. I wrote that down too. So we will be brainstorming links. All of that. I've been thinking stuff, about this good all sounds, night. Good sounds, good memes. Uh, we'll be coming up with some stuff. You might see them in the coming weeks here on the Captain's Log. But for now, I think that wraps us up mm-hmm. for this week. So, Melissa, where can the people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at WilkyWit. That's W I L K Y W I T. And listen to my other podcast, Saturday Morning Obscurities show where me and my brother jams talk about weird old kids shows you feel like only you remember we took january off to sort of rebuild some episodes in our catalog and we're back with a new episode i think right first week into february yeah. just as you're hearing this so listen to us talk about sheep in the big city nice good stuff uh ah. you guys can follow me at yo kyle springer on twitter and if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the stuff that we do here at The Whatnots, you can follow us at The Whatnots on Twitter, as well as on TikTok, all of that good stuff. Um, go like, share, subscribe. Please, if you guys like the show uh, and you guys have nice things to say, please go rate and review the show. That would help us out a ton. Uh, it it really, really does. I know basically most podcasts say that, 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 that say that stuff, but... If you guys can't support us on Patreon and still want to support the show, that is a great way to do that. Uh, And it would mean the world to us here at The Whatnots. So uh, go do all of that stuff. But this is it 
for the captain's log number 177, I think. Uh, I don't yeah, that's what, what you said before. Was. Yes, 177 is what my podcast app is saying. Uh, so with that, we will see you all next week. Bye. Bye.